Hello, I'm Ajit Pelser and I'd like to help you develop the leader within. Today I'm looking at why I invest in art. Art is a wonderful form of investment and we've learned from some syndicates in art how they buy very valuable paintings, keep them in vaults and then the syndicate grows the value of that painting and over time they take it to auction again, they sell it again and draw profits from that. That's one way that people do things. I also invest in artists that mean something to me, like mentors in my life. Um, the art behind me is solely by other people. Um, my my father is a missionary, so a lot of the artworks you see on the on the wall behind me are from his mission trips. He's been to over 120 nations, so there's a story behind every artwork, and we have a network of art patrons. And you can look at some of our things on palsamedia.com where we've read recent uh, auctions of paintings and things like that as well. Those paintings grow in value because they're original artworks by someone with a story. I believe in art with a mission as well. So art must, must not just adorn the house, but it must also have a story behind it and a purpose behind it. So the artwork there in the center, if you can see the center one there, that's, that's by Nico van Rensburg, which is a family member of ours. And his, his artworks have sold for tremendous amounts in the past. Um, in, in, he worked in the, the University of Witz. It was as an art lecturer as well. And he really inspired me to make my mark as an artist. So that inspires my works again. That's why I invest in my mentor's works. We used to go to art lessons there. And the, the, the first time uh, my wife saw this painting, of Nikos, she actually started crying in the gallery, which is kind of moving. And I, I looked at her, I said, well, now we've got to buy this painting. You know, it took me three months to pay the thing off, but it was worth it because of the, the value it had for my wife, number one. Secondly, because I was supporting my mentor, it, wanted, it was his last exhibition, he's, he's now retired and he's almost 90, I think he's 90 now, he's living in, in, a, in, a, in Paris, not Paris, in Paris. And he's retired there, but he's done some tremendous works. He knew some amazing artists and Walter Batters and people like that. And Jan Rabi and a lot of the Afrikaans artists of the last century. And and what happens is, if you, if, I've got two of his paintings. There's, there's another one over there as well and several of Andre's works. Um, Nico, Nico's works are going to gain value in the next 20 years as, as you know, life carries on. People's works become more valuable. I believe that uh, the Lord's sparing him a little bit so I can draw some more from him. But at the right time, you know, the, the, the Lord will take him and his works will become even more valuable. So I, I believe that that uh, I could I could get his works at a really good price. It was an investment for me and I don't mind paying them off. Um, so so just in my in my lounge, the artworks in my lounge are, are worth thousands of rands. And uh, there's a lot of value right here. I keep. Uh, samples from the series that I paint in my own house so that I can show it to people. So when I do a, a concept, I'll paint something and then I'll do do like eight works in that line and uh, keep one or two of them just as a sample of it. Um, maybe we can have a look at some of them up close and you, I'll show you what I mean.